Welcome to my home. We are decorating for Christmas 2024 today and you guys I was so excited when I opened up these bins and saw all the reds and greens and golds which I want to mention I know there are so many different varieties and styles out there and honestly they're all so beautiful and to me just the last maybe few years have I really started embracing the reds and the greens. I used to be a neutrals girly but I am full into the red and green traditional Christmas um, maybe it's my age I don't know but um, today's video is definitely not a Pinterest worthy high pressure um, to impress anybody it is seriously just keeping it lighthearted and fun I am a mom of two boys they are 10 and 12 and I am just trying to keep the Christmas magic alive over here I'm also a 90s kid and give me all the tacky Christmas you guys I've been chasing nostalgia and um, this type of decorating just brings me so much joy. So the goal isn't to make the house look like a magazine. The goal is to put out pieces that make this season so special. I love to watch people decorate for the holidays and if you clicked on this video you probably do too and this video is just so fun. Like I said we kept it lighthearted and traditional over here and I did get a few new items but I didn't get a whole lot. A lot of these items I've had for years and it's so fun to see the kids light up to see things that they remember from previous Christmases. So I love that about the holidays. It just brings out all those special moments and creates so many memories. Um, but I hope you guys enjoy watching me decorate today. Like I said, um, definitely nothing fancy or to write home about, but it just really cozied up the house. This village here I shared in my previous videos, they went viral. They were from the Target dollar spot. They were just $5 each. I love these little houses. I love how they light up with the little LED lights. Um, the garland that I'm showing here is actually new this year as well. It is from TJ Maxx. I think it was maybe like five or six dollars and I envisioned it here on the mantle just like this. Um, I also wanted to mention that I changed things quite a bit throughout this video. It's just my process. Um, I move things 10 times before I finally settle. So even editing this video right now, things look different. So by my next Christmas video, when we move into like the kitchen and the dining room, I will make sure I show you guys an updated shot of this space. Working so much lately, I can barely find the time to sleep. Yeah, I spend my time running around, keeping people please. Such a simple way to add a little something special to your holiday season is to get a record player. Now, so many of these records are actually from my mother-in-law from her collection. Um, I want to say these records are from the 80s maybe. I'll have to double check, but there are two different Christmas ones and then I have a couple different Halloween ones. And this is just a simple touch to really get into the holiday spirit. I love to display the cover art here on my record organizer. And then you can play the records. And I just love the crackling of the record and the old style music. Like It's seriously the best. Um, but I wanted to show you guys the two that I have. Um, let me know if you guys have these records or if you've listened to them before. Um, I think I also have a vintage Alvin and the Chipmunks Christmas one somewhere. I'll have to see if I can dig it out. This Santa right here, I picked up actually last year from Target. I want to say he was around $20 or $25, but he totally reminded me of something that would have been put out for Christmas when I was a kid. So I had to grab him and I love how he's animated. You can press a little button and he just does a little dance and sings a little song and it lights up. Um, my kids really, really enjoy this piece. So like I said, he's nothing to be put in a model home but he is so perfect for a traditional Christmas.
If you guys have been here for a minute, you see me hang these name tags from the stockings every year. These are a Christmas staple. Since we are in the Christmas spirit today, I wanted to get your opinion on this dress that I ordered off of Target and it just came in the mail. And since I was taking a break and just kind of like mentally decompressing from all the decoration, I thought this would be a great time to try this on and see what you guys think. I love getting dressed up, but I think I love being comfortable even more. So if I can blend those two together, I am a happy girl. I'm actually going to pair this new dress with one of my comfily bras. These are one of the most comfortable bras you guys will ever put on your body. I'm actually wearing one right now just the way that they sit on your body and if you see here they don't dig into your shoulders they sit just right on your back they are seamless stretchy they are comfortable you could easily fall asleep in one of these and not even know that you're wearing it i noticed immediately when these came in the mail that they have the traditional hook and eye clasps in the back but they all come with this additional piece that you can actually add on if you need more room around your body over the years of having trouble with bras that it may fit around but then not in the cup or it'll fit in the cup and then not around so this little piece right here solves all those problems for you here is the zero gravity sculpting bra on with the dress i love how everything fits it's supportive it's comfortable and I feel like I could hang with family all night in this and still be warm. And I could pair this with maybe a coat and some boots. The bra is so soft, it had me tossing all my underwire bras because there is no use for them in this house anymore. There are so many different sizes and styles over on their website. Make sure you go check them out. If you guys want to check out Comfily, they have a website and they also sell on Amazon and I've actually been wearing Comfily for a couple years now. I do own a few of their bras in a few different styles. So I have been able to wear them, live in them to be able to give you my full and honest opinion and I stand by saying they are one of the most comfortable, breathable bras that you will ever put on your body. Like I hardly feel like I'm wearing one right now. They're supportive even without the underwire. So make sure you guys check them out. I will have a link down below in the description box and if they are kind enough to extend any type of discounts for you guys, I will have that information below as well. As excited as I am to get everything pulled out and decorate, I also get very overstimulated. So taking breaks is key for me and just decompressing, taking a minute and coming back with fresh eyes. I guess that's why I move things around so much, but um, trying on that dress and walking away, having a snack, um, just kind of put everything back into a new perspective for me. Let me know if you guys do the same where sometimes you just have to take a pause, walk away and come back to it. Um, I want to be that girly that just knows exactly what I want to do and where everything is going to go and how everything is going to look, but I'm not. I just get way too overstimulated. So as much as I love doing this, I hate that part about it as well, but the after is always so satisfying. But let me know down below in the comments if you guys are the type that has to kind of walk away and come back to it as well. I am totally aware that I'm putting 50 billion pillows on my couch. I've had somebody in my comments say, why do you have so many pillows on your couch? It's because I love throw pillows and I love throw blankets and we are home a lot. This is a new sofa. We love to all four of us in the family cozy up on this couch and be surrounded by comfy pillows and blankets. And to me, throw pillows really cozy up a space and I think they're all so festive and fun. I didn't really want to have to choose what I wanted to put out. So we just put them all and if it's your house and you love it, then you do you boo. The coffee table was a space that I already had an idea of what I wanted to do here. I did get one of those gold trays by Threshold. Um, it was around $35, not the worst, not the cheapest. You guys will see it here in a second. 
Um, and then I picked up these gold candle holders. I'm drawing a blank on what they're called. I got some faux snow and some red candles. And I just wanted to put together like a little cozy lighting situation on this tray. So this vase, I think it's new this year. It's by Hearth and Hand. It was only $20. And I feel like this is a staple piece, not only that you can have for years, but you could keep it out even just for winter decor um, and not even necessarily for Christmas. Um, so you're going to see me kind of play with this tray. I put this little house and candle on here, but I end up swapping those things out. So stick with me because as I was digging through my bins, I was seeing things that I had and remembering. So um, I was kind of swapping things out as I went. So um, these red candles I got from Home Goods. It was a pack of three. The faux snow, I paid like $3 for it it's from Target. And then these little votive candle hurricanes. Um, they are also from Target. I want to say one was like eight bucks and one was twelve dollars. So I'm just kind of putting together my own little look here. Would this video even be a Christmas decorating video if we didn't make a Christmas coffee? So I wanted to take a minute to give myself some more energy and we're going to throw together a iced coffee at home. So I'm using some of the instant coffee you're seeing all over the internet right now with some ice and some milk of your choice and then creamer of your choice. I'm using the Chobani peppermint. Give that a good stir and I'm topping it with holiday eggnog flavored whipped cream. Let me know down in the comments if you like eggnog or not. I feel like it's one, it's one of those controversial things. You love it or you hate it. I love it and it was the perfect way to top off this iced coffee. I also had some crushed peppermint on hand and so I decided to jazz it up a little bit with some crushed peppermint on top. And I was sipping on this the rest of the time that I was decorating because I really, really needed the motivation. As soon as you remove that snow in my last video, we put together this beautiful bar cart and it has been so much fun. You guys, I love it so much. It's going to be so great for the holidays because I do host for Thanksgiving and to be able to decorate this for the seasons. And not only is it beautiful, but functional, I'm so excited about it. So we decorated it in the last video and put it together. And today we're going to put a little Christmas touch on it. So these little cocktail glasses are from Target a few years ago. I bust them out every year. Um, I'll even just drink spiked eggnog out of it, whatever you want to mix up. I think they're just so pretty and they look very high end, but they were just maybe $3 a piece from Target. Um, putting those here, I took my simple everyday ones off, replaced them with these glasses, took the floral arrangement away, then added this little faux tree but it's a real touch it's from hobby lobby last year i got a couple of these and we are going to add a little red bow on top these towels i had the idea to hang them from here but ultimately i didn't like these specific ones i think i'm going to swap them out with something else so i do actually end up taking those away and i'm going to add a candle and then i'm going to actually move some other decor um, that i use somewhere else and use it over here so like i said you're gonna see me do a few things throughout this video i'm gonna put out this candle and then i also end up swapping out that candle i'm all over the place but hey you guys are along for this ride did you hear something from the chimney i will keep you warm as soon as you remove that snow This came out so cozy and cute. I seriously love these little gingerbread men. I remember my mom having some similar, a little bigger of course, but I had to have them when I saw them in the dollar spot. I think I paid $3 each for them. And they're just so cute hanging out over here on the bar cart. Um, this Silent Night 
print I got from I think Home Goods or, or no TJ Maxx last year and I just love it again I feel like that's something you could keep out even just for winter decor and um, this I do move around a few times there's some artwork and some prints that I move around a few times um, even after you guys watch this so again make sure you guys stick around for the next video because I can give all the updates over there um, I also added a little touch to all of my candle sconces on the walls. Um, you guys saw me just put together with some extra greenery that I had around and I bought a big pack of red bows. Um, so I'm just kind of putting little touches of garland and greenery around the house. And um, this is something that I've been doing for years. If you're not sure what to do with it, just get some red ribbon and throw a bow on it. And it just gives it that little simple Christmas touch without really going overboard and um, putting out more clutter just throw a little red bow on it or whatever color you like to decorate with and it just makes it a little festive I love how the entryway came out and how it flows in with the rest of the room. I'm sad that um, the footage of me showing Santa, my foot, my five foot Santa from Home Depot last year. Um, I don't know where the footage went. I don't know if my camera died or what, but um, you guys will see him in the background and you're probably wondering where the heck did he come from? Um, the footage is gone. I don't know what happened to it, but you guys will see him throughout the rest of this video. Um, Brittany Blaine shared him last year. You guys, I love Brittany. She is like the decorating goddess. I wish she was local to me. I would literally just pay her to come decorate my house. She is amazing. Um, but she shared him last year and he was under $50 from Home Depot. So I want to say they have him again this year. So run out and grab this Santa, you guys. He is absolutely amazing, and he is a Christmas staple that I know that I will even be putting out for my grandkids. Is the 
After shots are always my favorite thing about decorating videos. I love just seeing how it comes together. You guys will have to let me know. Um, a Christmas decorating staple is ordering in pizza and putting on Home Alone. <laughs> I don't know what it is, you guys. Christmas and pizza and putting this movie on is just the perfect combination. I am sitting here editing this video and just wanted to give you guys a warm thank you for clicking on this one. It seriously means the world to me. I can't believe it's already the time of year where we are posting Christmas content and I love it so much and this is only the beginning. There is more to come so make sure you guys like this video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. Hit the bell so you don't miss any upcoming videos. I also wanted to remind you guys that I will have the link for it comfortably down below in the description box. I am wearing one of the bras right now. You guys, they are my go-to. If they are clean in my drawer, I am grabbing it. I am wearing it. So ditch the wired bras. Be comfortable. Again, if they offer any type of discounts, I will have all that information for you guys down below. Thank you again so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time in a brand new video. Bye friends. Wherever we are.